nerderotic.com. Welcome back to Nerdrotic. My name is Gary Beekler, and I come to you from nerdrotic.com. And this is going to be one of those uh, quartering geeks and gamers and that Star Wars girls type of video. Uh, turning on the camera and talking, and we're talking about Captain Marvel again. This is a bit of a sequel to last night's video, and unfortunately, it puts off my Doctor Who Rotten Tomatoes video until tomorrow. Apologies. But this one's uh, kind of important. I was reminded as I was uh, uploading my live stream up to my website, nerdrotic.com, from yesterday that I was reading some of those comments on the live stream prior to them being deleted. Much to the chagrin of Rotten Tomatoes, John Campia, and the Access Media, the internet is forever. So I am going to post that here. Uh, I was going to reread them for you, but uh, the, the quality on the live stream visually is pretty bad, so I can't read them. And unfortunately, I need to apologize that the audio is pretty bad. It's pretty late in the live stream. My voice is starting to go. So I'm going to play that for you here. And then when it's done, we're going to talk about that access media. We're going to talk about John Campia. And we're going to talk about Rotten Tomatoes a little more. Uh, I want a quick uh, shout out to that Star Wars girl. She just shouted me out in her last video. She is amazing. If you haven't already subscribed to that Star Wars girl, she is killing it with Captain Marvel. She is great. I consider her a friend. Please subscribe to her. She is brilliant and made for YouTubing. And thanks again to geeks and gamers and jeremy as well so here we go get the women and children out of the room the toxicity is coming wait it's 2019 can you say women and children anymore you probably can't man i bet you there's a bunch of men from the titanic uh wishing that boat went down in 2019 <laughs> that, that sucks for them either way here we go yeah it was at 19 pages yesterday there's 46,000 people who voted there's about 20 reviews per page. Real quick, it turns out some of the posts are still up, so you will see some of them, but the ones you don't see are the ones that have been removed. So the last one is today. Okay, it looks kind of boring, honestly. No, Nate is toxic, everybody. He's so toxic. What a misogynist, toxic, man baby, troll baby, Russian bot baby, misogynist baby. So hateful trailer has done nothing for me the third got my attention and the horrible train scene released with horrendous cinematography terrible fight choreography bad lighting flat colors this is obviously a brit because he spelled colors wrong colors and nonsense camera work killed it for me. nope not interested what a hateful hateful misogynist it should be obvious if not watch the trailers i'm still uh, not interested not my cup of tea I think it's going to be filler for the Avengers. Man, look at these toxic comments. Monica Rambeau is the real Captain Marvel. She is. Hope it turns out good. There, guy just said hope it, or gal just hope it turns out good. Uh, not interested in seeing this film. Looks boring and predictable. Meh, looks super boring. Probably going to pass on this one. God, could you can you imagine this hate? This this hate is unbelievable i i'm sorry i am uh, subjecting you to all of this hate i do apologize none of the trailers have looked interesting and so many of the first impressions saying goose was the best part doesn't seem to bode well i'll wait to see it on hulu disney plus later this year alex you hate filled monster you're not going to see this movie right away probably don't like pets either i'm going to call Peta on you Waiting for Shazam and Avengers Endgame. Too many comic book movies out there. I don't need to see every one. I'll wait a second run DVD for this one. Ugh, she delivers those lines like a D-list actress. Think I'll pass on this one. I'll wait for Endgame. Gustavo, hate Alan. As this movie isn't made for me, Brie wouldn't like me to see this movie. Such a shame. Uh, Neil M, love Marvel movies, but I'm going to pass on this one. All the SJW politics. Oh my God. I don't know if I can do this anymore. Uh, being honest, I watched the trailers and I'm not hyped about spending my money to watch it. I will wait for its release on Netflix. Joseph S. Wonder Woman was great. When is the Black Widow coming out? It, it's the misogyny. It's the roving band of misogynists coming to obviously brigade against this movie with their talking about wonder woman and cinematography looks like it's gonna suck not interested so far i'll go watch alita again the day it comes out uh no thanks i'll go for alita huge pass thanks for helping me save money by not watching your movie so there you have it all of that 
toxicity that the access media has been talking about. And again, they are completely running with this one, blaming indicators for the failure of prior movies. Now, I hate to pick on Wired because they did interview me when I owned the comic shop, but times change, like I've said before. Rotten Tomatoes revamp could save Captain Marvel. So if you had any doubt that this move was to save Captain Marvel, don't have any, really. The flood of trolling on Rotten Tomatoes started about a month ago, weeks before the release of Captain Marvel. Commenters on the site were already claiming the movie was garbage and that they had no intentions of seeing it. My God, they, they are lying about their intentions. Terrible movie, hated already, wrote one. Not interested in seeing another SJW, social justice warrior, propaganda film claimed another. And finally, this movie is destined to flop. Another day, another attempt to pillory a film long before anyone in the comment thread could have seen the movie in question. We've seen the story before. Hell, we've written this story before. But now Rotten Tomatoes is trying to do something about it and destroying their website. On Monday, the movie review site announced some changes to the way it deals with audience scores specifically that it will no longer show the want to see percentage score that one gets posted to all of those reviews above of a movie before it's released why we've found that the want to see percentage score is oftentimes confused with the audience score well now i'm not going to read this whole thing you can google it for yourself i will not link to this website it is wired rotten tomatoes revamp could save captain marvel down here it says but sequestering want to see isn't all rotten tomatoes is doing to stop the trolls the site is also turning off the comment function before a movie's release date unfortunately the blog post noted we have seen an uptick in non-constructive input sometimes border on trolling, which we believe is a disservice to our general readership. I think taking away the ability to comment is a disservice to your general readership. This for fans, and presumably studios, is a long overdue reprieve. It's nearly impossible to tell which comments are from actual fans and which are from users just out for lulls. Movies ranging from Baywatch to Star Wars The Last Jedi have recently found themselves subjected to trollish, harsh reviews on RT. Well, I don't know about Baywatch, but Star Wars The Last Jedi sucked and it deserved any criticism it got. In some cases, the negative comments are earned, but in others, as was the case with The Last Jedi, to a lesser degree, the all-female Ghostbusters, the poor ratings seem driven by racist and or sexist motivations from fans who don't appreciate diversity in their movies. Here we go. Oh, wait. They also might have been fueled by Russian trolls. So will Rotten Tomatoes' new changes come in time to save Captain Marvel from trolls? Some of the damage has already been done, but the move will definitely stop it from getting worse. <laughs> no, it's not. But more than that, Rotten Tomatoes move may not be necessary. While it is certainly in movies fans' best interest, the jig has been up on audience review trolling for a while. That's just rich. When the access media, and John Campia mentioned this in his live stream, and I'll get to him a little later. They both mentioned that the audience score is compromised. The jig is up. Uh, I would still say that most people tend to believe that more than the critics these days, because I think it's far more likely that the critics are in Disney's pocket then there are mass groups of people faking the actual reviews. As far as comments on the indicator, whatever. But when the audience score comes out, they're going to be saying the same thing. Now, there's a lot to go over here, and yet there's nothing to go over because it's the same tired argument we've heard before. So... First off, the racists and misogynists and sexists out there. Okay, anybody who's a true, blue, racist and misogynist and a sexist would not watch any Marvel movies, would not watch anything from Hollywood. They would be uh, sitting in their room, probably drinking and being very angry because they would hate anything coming from Hollywood. That's why that's such a bogus argument. You don't hear this crap with Wonder Woman or Alita Battle Angel or with anything from the MCU. So yeah, just leave that one alone. And yeah, it's the same argument we've heard with Doctor Who, Star Trek Discovery, Star Wars, Ghostbusters 2016, Marvel Comics, DC Comics to some extent, anime, uh, sci-fi books with the sad puppies issue, and of course Gamergate. This is all the same crap. It's media collusion and identity politics being injected as propaganda in our entertainment, and we want it to stop. It's got nothing to do with being against diversity and inclusivity. My favorite show is The Expanse. Go look at the cast for that. Go look at the cast for The Orville. So, you know, just stop that argument. I shouldn't even have to qualify it. But, and as far as the Russian bots, that has already been disproven. Somebody actually did a study 
and it, it's been disproven. Here's the Washington Post talking about it. This is another tired argument. They are desperate at this point. That's why they have completely earned this 100% certified shill. I made that on Photoshop, and it is available to anybody who wants it. Just hit me up on Twitter. And, of course, there's this one, Certified Silence. Brand new and available. Just hit me up on Twitter. Most of us are just saying pump the brakes on the politics, pump the brakes on the identity politics. And when they hear us being against identity politics, they think they jump to this conclusion that it is against inclusivity and diversity. And it's not. They're two completely different things. And they know that. We didn't see any of this with Aquaman, did we? I just enjoyed the hell out of the Umbrella Academy. Why? Because... I'm finding I'm enjoying stuff that doesn't preach to me. I don't know if it's really necessarily that good anymore. I'm just happy not to be preached at. This backlash happened organically. It was not organized, and it is a direct result of years of this. Like I said, it's coming to a head with Captain Marvel. Specifically, Brie Larson. Marvel Comics. Captain Marvel, which is a tainted brand anyway. This has been going on in the comics for about three years now, four years now with SJW Marvel that Captain Marvel is the figurehead of, and now they've decided to bring it over to the MCU, and that was just a bad decision. Hopefully, the movie is not like that, but it does not forgive them for the marketing and Bree's behavior. Now, Bree has been quiet lately, so that is good. This is not going to stop it, though, Wired Magazine, as long as YouTube exists, but that's where I get to the audience score. When the audience score comes out, It's going to be worse, and they're going to have to remove that as well. And that is where Rotten Tomatoes dies. If it's not dead already, so like I said, YouTubers make your Rotten Tomatoes videos now. Now let's talk about John Campia and perpetuating lies. He accused those of us who are criticizing Captain Marvel as perpetuating a lie. That we are saying that Brie Larson said she hates white people. None of us have said that. None of us have said that at all. It's the perception. I don't think she hates white people because uh, last time I checked, she was one. So it's the perception. It's the perception of the marketing we have a problem with. It's the politics of the marketing. And as far as us being a hate mob, well, just take a look at the tweet he put out and had to scrub his Twitter account afterwards. So, And speaking again of perpetuating, when you say stuff like this, John... You perpetuate the hate that we get over here. We YouTubers get some pretty rich comments for not liking a movie or being against Bree's statements or these politics. You have every right to your opinion and I can take it when you sling it. That's not the problem. Just don't act like you're above it. Everybody, this is far from over. I can't wait to see what next week brings. Uh, It's been incredible. And yes, we are going to continue talking about it. I'm not going to stop because this is, you know, as fans are being attacked daily now, as it's become a pastime with the entertainment media, somebody has to have their back. And since I am a fan, I will continue to provide a place where fans can come and still talk about stuff and still give their opinions without them being silenced. And at least I wasn't disappointed by the reaction of the Access Media. They acted just as I thought they would, and they didn't miss another opportunity to attack fans. I am just thankful my fellow YouTubers reacted in kind. If you like what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. If you didn't like what you heard, hey, thanks for listening this long. Please go to nerdrotic.com for our live stream schedule. If you want to talk about this more, I do three live streams a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, 12 p.m. Pacific time, and Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific. Everybody have a great day, and may the small folks sing songs of your greatness. nerdorotic.com please subscribe